as life-threatening injuries and wounds as people... On Sunday, by an orientation briefing, we are concerned by the government's decision not to approve the renewal of the registration of Audicar, uh, which is a prominent and respected human rights organization in the country. The decision follows repeated accusations by the authorities against Audicar for spreading propaganda and publishing misleading information about extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances. We urge the government to immediately reconsider this decision and to ensure that Audicor has the ability to um, seek a full judicial review of any such determination. We are further concerned that this decision will have a chilling effect on civil society organizations' ability to report serious human rights violations to us and to human rights mechanisms. There has been increased surveillance of its activities in recent months. And the UN Secretary General has also raised concerns about reprisals against Audicar over the past decade for its cooperation with the UN. Um, in the room here, Peter Kenny. Bangladesh has a tradition of a strong and diverse civil society. We call on the government to foster an enabling environment for civil society to undertake their work without fear of reprisals, particularly in the lead up to the next elections. Furthermore, civil society actors must not be deterred from cooperating with the UN, its representatives, or its mechanisms.